now it's time for that part of the show where Tim comes over all consumer champion. Yeah, this week I'm conducting a test on simple car polish. However, in a rather extreme way. <laughs> For unbeatable shine and protection, always use ice car polish. Why not try flawless polish for a longer lasting, unrivaled shine? As seen on TV, the ultimate car polish by Murr. All of these lotions and potions make bold claims about protecting your paintwork. Prices range from a few quid to four figures. And I want to find out which of these ten is the best. This magic box will help reveal the truth. It's a gloss meter, and quite simply, it obviously measures how shiny the paintwork on our car is. Now, what I'm going to do is apply a different polish to each panel of this beautiful eight-year-old Alpha 156. Then, I'm going to subject this car to what can only be described as torture. <laughs> the polish which gives us the shiniest shine wins. I started with the old favourite, Turtle Wax. Nice and easy to use. And worked my way around the car, following each manufacturer's guidelines. Britain here, off and Clum, down near the Hunter von Kinten Garden. Let me shake well. Oh, hang on a minute. Goggles. Terrified. Ugh. Melt a small amount of wax into your palms. Right, and that's it. How does it look? You know, some people who are really into their cars. Then we come to this 1,500 pound substance from the experts at Swissvax. Oh, oh, it's lovely. It smells amazing. Mm. So this stuff contains 60% ultra white pure carnauba from uh, Brazil. Now it's such a fine glaze of this stuff on my hand. It didn't feel like there was much on there, but when you put your hand on the car, you can actually feel it just sort of like gliding on. That's incredible. I left the last two panels to the experts. The boot was treated by Glare UK, who reckon one application lasts five years. A company called G-Technic looked after the bonnet, applying a crystal lacquer coating, which forms a chemical bond with the paint. To do a whole car costs about £500. With every panel of our Alpha now polished, it was time to get nasty. It's not just about shine, it's about how well the shine lasts. This is the best thing I've ever done! So I'm going to squeeze a year's worth of wear and tear into just one hour. That's the British summer dealt with, now for winter. Right, back her up, pal. There we go. Finally, it's time to replicate the effects of the sun. <laughs> Does anyone know if they drain the fuel? Did they drain the fuel out of this? After the Alpha had cooled down, right. I took gloss meter readings all over the car. We took some again a week later just to be sure, and weighing up the price and ease of application, these are our favourite polishes. It was the expensive products that produced the shiniest paintwork, with gloss meter readings in the 90s. If you don't mind spending as much on polish as you did the car, then we'd happily recommend any of them. Of the cheaper stuff, it was the Faraclar wax top that was the star in this test. A quick and easy gloss, also measuring in the 90s, for just £14 a litre. And of course, it's flameproof. 